part for the Arduino assembly. Um, here we'll put the Arduino card itself into a suitable vise, the third hand as it were. And we're going to start by placing the resistors. One 10K, that's the uh, black orange. The three 330s, those are the orange, orange, browns. Having the legs pre bent to about the same size as the holes makes it easy. And we'll also place at this time the capacitors. Unmarked there, either different, no matter. Set those in. From the underside of the third hand, these components are easily secured in place by bending the legs out and I'll detach the vise to demonstrate. If you take the legs and bend them open, the components will not pull out. You can also tape at this point. I use taping method for the short ICs and whatnot. At this stage, those are good. And voila! Part 5 of Arduino assembly will be the soldering the passive components, the resistors and capacitors, our solder gun. We'll uh, condition the tip a little bit, i.e. melt some solder on there, get a nice cooling tip and we'll clean it. Preferably not against water, water is a little hard on the end of the tips. And now soldering, basic principle, get a low angle with the iron, count to five, apply solder to the iron leg interface, hold it there, extract, nice little glob, come the end, and repeat. Oops, that was a little too quick. Want to uh, count to three or four maybe before we apply solder. Solder should wick on really well i.e. you shouldn't have to push push your solder or force it in. The final step of this process is going to be clipping those legs off. To do that, to prevent any shorting on any other components, we'll simply take our end snip here, put your finger over it, keep it from flying into your eyes, and clip. Clipping as flush to the board as possible is ideal. Okay, step six is soldering of the LEDs and switches. Every LED has a flat side that's the negative side that will be pointed towards ground. Uh, the graph on the board itself shows flat sides, so we'll line those up. Insert. Flat side. On the flat sides, there we go. Soldering of the three header pins is a little tricky. They're separate, they like to fall out easy. For this one though, we'll lay the board at an angle that keeps the pins from falling out. Solder from the underside, which makes it kind of tricky. Right, now, take the pliers. Keep the pin, straighten the line, let it go. The pin, straighten the header, and let it go, and repeat. And there we have it. three troublesome little header pins. Okay, this step in the Arduino Proto Shield project will solder the two eight pin and the two six pin headers. Um, an easy way to keep these things from falling out when you flip it over to solder is use something like part of a t-shirt or a piece of foam. We're going to lay that on top, flip it over, and lay it down on a flat surface. Gravity holds everything in. Good enough. For now, um, we won't solder all the pins at once. We'll do one pin on each. So I'm going to take a middle pin, solder it, Pin. 
pilot. Now I can actually grab this. Maybe on a hard surface, I don't actually have to use my own hand. And push the line. Check. Good. I've got both of those really well. Just check it. Once the solder melts, you can feel the header kind of shake or give as it comes unglued. So, all those pretty good. Alright, okay, here we are soldering the rest of the male header pins. Very light, make sure that the solder is melting on the pin and not the gun. So by the same method as the male headers, the female headers can be soldered in place. Insert them from the top. Put it on the cloth. Gently flip it over. Solder one pin of each. surface. I'm going to use my fingers in this case. So the easiest. The pin. Push it and align it flat and straight. Repeat for the others. This step we're going to solder the three pin female header, the modified four pin. Now the orientation is important here. We're taking the surface with the sparkfun.com logo on it and from the underside we're attaching the four pin. Now the blank pin goes towards the sparkfun.com label. Like so. Right. Blank pin towards the sparkfun label. Similar strategy, cloth, flip it over, grab the release, hold it in place long enough to solder one of the pins, solder one of the pins, heat it up, line it manually, check it, line it up, be happy with it, flip it back upside down, and solder away. Last step in the assembly of their Duna board. Breadboard, we chose black. Color does not matter. Carefully peel the tape off. Oh. And choose your location. We oriented it inside the screen printed square as best as possible. Line it up. One shot at this, and down it goes.